What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. CES brings the biggest names in tech and there are a ton of conferences after conferences and it's hard to steal the spotlight. Before the show even began, the folks at Faraday Future may have just done that and they unveiled their very first concept car, the FF01. Faraday Future is a company you're going to be hearing a lot about. So I thought I'd run through the top five things to know about Faraday Future. So coming at number five, who are they? They're a brand new, in fact, they're only 18 month old automobile manufacturer. They're based in California. They're building a $1 billion manufacturing plant in Nevada, and they're backed by Chinese money, which we'll talk a little bit about later on in the list. They're commonly referred to as the Tesla killer, but as of now, they haven't released any products, just showing what they think the product line is going to look like. Coming in at number four, their crazy awesome looking concept car is called the FF01. It was designed by Richard Kim, who designed the BMW i8, the i3, and the X1. So the guy knows what he's doing. And this thing is packed to the gills with technology. It's got a thousand horsepower, zero to 60 time in under three seconds, and a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. The steering wheel is a smartphone mounted halo safety system that supports the driver's head and neck. And it's got a helmet that feeds the driver water and oxygen. Plus the windshield has a virtual augmented reality map built right in. So as you look out to the world and the road, you get augmented reality right in front of you. And last but definitely not least, it looks like an electric Batmobile. Ready to move up. Number three, the platform is module. When Tesla first debuted their concept Model S, it took them nine years to get that car on the road. Faraday's claiming they could do that in about half the time, so between five and six years. And they're doing that with a completely modular platform, which has really never been done to this extent. So their powertrain is called Variable Platform Architecture. It's gonna let them quickly develop and release cars of different sizes, battery capacities, and motor configurations from one all the way up to four. So if you want rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, uh, or all wheel drive on each wheel. And coming in at number two, this is one of the coolest things I think about the company is they're kind of a mystery. Back at number five, I mentioned that they were China backed, but we don't know who or what in China is putting all that money towards the company. We did get a little bit of a bigger piece of the picture this week when they announced a strategic partnership with Chinese media, Lei TV, headed by billionaire Xi Jinping who Forbes reported to be the primary investor in their $1 billion facility, which also happens to be, for its worth, 3 million square foot. But the remaining of their funding is still just a mystery. My guess is it's just some dude on island. And number one, and the most important thing to remember about Faraday Future, we have no idea when we're gonna see a car on the road. Don't expect to place your order in the next 12 months. Faraday said they can get a car on the road within five years, but if automotive history has taught us anything, it'll take much, much, much longer. What we don't know is if we're looking at the next Fisker or the next Tesla. But either way, we should have a better picture sometime this decade. So what do you guys think about Faraday Future? Whether or not we're actually gonna get one or be on the road is still yet to be determined, but it's cool to see electric propulsion get a lot more mainstream attention. So next time, John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video.